Welcome to the second hour of The Full View. Good evening, my name is Bongi Rizwane. At this hour, we reflect on a year since mm. uh, former President Jacob Zuma was incarcerated. We have that conversation in just a moment. Indeed, I'm Francis Hood. Great to have you with us. And let's get straight into those top stories. Today, marking a year since the former president was jailed for contempt of court, the Constitutional Court ruled that Jacob Zuma be incarcerated last year and was on this day he was taken to prison. And further afield, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson announces his resignation. This has been the big story today as well. In sport, Banyana Banyana need maximum points against bottom place Burundi tonight to, to qualify for the quarterfinals of the Women's Africa Cup of Nations. Tonight we're asking you, with economic pressures mounting on various individuals, how can we as South Africans avoid a national shutdown? And you can only imagine that with these particular pressures that are mounting, Francis, the rolling blackouts are also not helping. Indeed, uh, adding pressure onto pressure, as you say. Uh, we just spoke to the former CEO of the post office uh, saying that the cracks are, are just adding to that momentum uh, in terms of service delivery at many, many levels. Uh, tell us what you think South Africa needs to do to avoid uh, the type of thing that we're seeing in several countries, in fact, at the moment because of rising food prices and fuel prices and avoid a national shutdown.